Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be going through the top 5 brawlers and the worst 5 brawlers. Uh, I'm also going to be going through what balance changes uh, I thought should have happened with the uh, upcoming update. But uh, yeah, let's jump straight into the uh, worst 5 brawlers. Okay, coming in at the 5th worst brawler is Crow. Uh, Crow is one of the squishiest brawlers in the game. Uh, he's only got 3,360 HP. Uh, this makes him not really viable in, uh, across many 3v3 modes. Uh, in Bounty, he's not so good. Gem, Grab, you will have better chances there. Brawl Ball, he's okay. Heist, not really the best. And Siege, really bad. Uh, in terms of balance changes, I don't really see him get a buff anytime soon. Just because of his annoying mechanic. Uh, obviously with the poison ticking you down. I don't really feel like Supercell will uh, like Crow to be a good brawler. But in terms of 3v3. Uh, there's a lot better brawlers out there. Uh, he just gets taken out way too easily. His speed is obviously good. But I mean his damage isn't really a lot. So uh, let's move into the 4th worst brawler in the game. Okay so coming in at the 4th worst brawler in the game. Uh, I'm going to be going with Colt. Uh, Colt obviously is a good brawler for people who are very good with him so it's he's a very high skill cap brawler uh, I'm not really the best at Colt but uh, in terms of stats Colt has decent HP uh, still pretty low uh, 3920 uh, he has a really valuable super uh, obviously breaking walls and uh, as you can see by some of the clips uh, you can take out brawlers pretty good if you have a really good aim uh, in terms of modes, he has uh, his strongest mode is Brawl Ball, but uh, in terms of other modes like Bounty, Siege, Gem Grab, Heist, uh, he's not really the best. Uh, Brawl Ball is definitely a strong point. In terms of balance changes, I would probably uh, increase his bullet speed, so how fast his bullets travel, uh, or you could probably uh, increase his bullet size. Okay, so the third worst brawler in my opinion uh, is going to be Leon. Uh, Leon has uh, been really bad in the meta uh, for quite some time now. Uh, obviously, on, on its release, he was a really broken brawler and uh, for a while, so it's kind of nice to see him at the meta. But I mean, uh, in terms of competitive meta, he's not really used at all. Uh, he's not the best at bounty. Uh, he's okay in gem grab. Uh, he's not the best in brawl ball. Uh, heist and siege, not very good. Uh, if I say his best mode, it probably would be Bounty or Gem Grab. Uh, it's obviously, his invisibility has been nerfed into Oblivion. Uh, obviously, on his release, it was so broken. So, uh, I think Supercell are a bit reluctant to uh, give it a buff. Meta hasn't really favoured Leon at all. Uh, it doesn't really win many 1v1 interactions. And in terms of balance changes... I'd probably like to see an increase in his invisibility. I know it's his most broken uh, mechanic, but that's one thing that makes Leon good. Okay, so the second worst problem in the game uh, is Dynamark, in my opinion. Uh, Dynamark has really never been good in the meta uh, ever since the heist maps changed back in the old days. Uh, his shots are just too hard to hit. Uh, it doesn't really feel rewarding. In high, uh, high school games, a lot of people are obviously good at juking. And uh, this can become impossible to hit, uh, even for the Dynamite Gods like Lucky Bear and Monkey. Uh, in terms of balance changes, I feel like Dynamite needs some indirect buffs. Uh, so like new maps in a heist, so he can jump over the walls and get to the safe. Uh, in terms of direct buffs, I feel like he will probably need uh, an increase in projectile speed. So, uh, so his Dynamite's exploded quicker. But uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to balance Dynamite, uh, he's, but he's not been good in the meta for some time now. Okay, so coming in at the worst brawler in the game, uh, it's clearly going to be Max. Uh, in terms of damage, Max can really never win any single 1v1 inside the game. Uh, obviously, her speed is uh, really useful sometimes, but uh, obviously for DPS, just really isn't great for Max. Uh, the only good mode I consider Max good in is Brawl Ball. Also due to the speed, um, I've not really had a great time using her in any other modes. It'd be interesting to see where uh, Max lies in the new meta. Uh, also due to the fact that Max is obviously a support brawler. Uh, Max is better obviously for 
supporting your teammates rather than yourself. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so the fifth best brawler in the game, in my opinion, uh, it's got to be Jean. Uh, obviously, Jean's my favourite brawler, but uh, I think Jean's very underrated. Uh, obviously, Jean's a support brawler. Uh, obviously, in the uh, qualifiers that have just happened in the World Cup, Jean was used a lot with the likes of Daryl, Tara, uh, other brawlers that are good uh, getting quick kills and then turning them kills into offensive pressure. Uh, Jean has two good star powers, uh, Magic Puffs and Spirit Slap. Uh, Magic Puffs is very underrated, uh, 400 healing per second is really good. Uh, Jean Super is one of the best in the game, uh, being able to pull someone uh, in any moment uh, is pretty crucial, especially in games like Gem Grab, Bounty, Brawl Ball. It doesn't take too long to build up his Super as well once you've uh, pulled an enemy towards you. In my opinion, I would rank Jean probably a bit higher, but that's probably a bit biased. But uh, yeah, Jean's fifth best brawl in the game. Okay, so the fourth best brawl in the game, uh, I went with Sandy. Uh, Sandy's really good in the meta right now. Uh, his super is absolutely broken in my opinion. Uh, it's obviously the radius of the super. Uh, keeps the enemies back for so long, especially if you're using the star power, which deals 120 damage a second. Uh, it also can be really frustrating playing against a Sandy. Uh, the time it takes for Sandy to unload his shot is really fast. Uh, obviously his reload's really slow, but at the same time it's easy to hit shots. Uh, it's quite easy to hit it around the walls. I just think uh, Sandy's super mechanic is just really broken. That's obviously what makes him one of the best brawlers in the game. Uh, he can fit into so many different comps and so many different uh, team styles. In terms of balance changes, I think Sandy could do with a few nerfs. I think the uh, super radius is uh, too large. It goes on for too long of a period. And also the, uh, the ticking of the damage is super infuriating. 120 is probably a bit too much. I'd probably prefer it back to its 40. Okay, coming in at the third best brawl in the game, in my opinion, uh, is going to be Carl. Uh, Carl's a really versatile brawler. Uh, he can play in a variety of modes, brawl ball, gem grab, uh, even bounty. I see him quite frequently now. Uh, Carl's wall peaking ability is really great. Uh, I feel like his second star power, protective pirouette, is uh, really what makes him a top tier brawler. Uh, the 40% uh, damage reduction uh, means that he can take out so many brawlers uh, and survive at the same time. Uh, obviously he's damaged during the super as well. Uh, it's really underrated and catches a lot of people off guard. In terms of balance changes, I'd like to see a nerf to his second star power. 40% uh, I'd probably like to reduct it to 35% or 30 uh, but in terms of that he's a quite balanced brawler. So the second best brawler in the game uh, in my opinion is Daryl. Uh, Daryl's a super versatile brawler, uh, he's been good in the meta for a few months now. Uh, obviously his steel heat star power is really good in game modes like gem grab, brawl ball. His second star power uh, rolling reload is also good in game modes like heist. I feel like Daryl is also a super high skill cap brawler. Uh, it takes a lot more skill than people realise. You can ricochet his bounces off several walls. Uh, you can use his super to cancel a lot of uh, different mechanics in the game, like Shelly's super, uh, like people running for own goal, you can uh, super into him and get the ball off him. Dowl is really good in every single mode in the game, I feel like. Uh, you can use him in bounty, you can use him in heist, he's really good in brawl ball, goal scorer. Uh, he's a good lane in gem grab, uh, even on siege, when paired well with Gene and Sandy. Uh, I feel like Daryl's a really strong brawler in the game. Uh, he's getting nerfed in the next balance changes, but I still feel like Daryl will be a really strong brawler. Okay, so the best brawler in the game uh, is B. This shouldn't really be a surprise. Uh, obviously, what makes B so good is a second star power honey coat. It makes B survive with uh, one HP and gives a, a shield for one second. Uh, obviously, in so many different situations, this is uh, a really broken star power. Uh, a lot of the times you can just play aggressive, obviously uh, the first shot is only going to do about 1k damage but the second shot is going to hit 3k. Uh, when this is paired also with a super that slows enemies down, uh, this could be a really lethal combo. Uh, B pairs well with so many different brawlers, uh, obviously B is really good in gem grab, uh, very good in brawl ball, obviously that shield uh, helps you score so many goals. In the balance changes that have just been released, the shield has gone from 1 second to 0 0.6 seconds. Personally, I don't think like this is going to touch B uh, too much. She's still going to be the best brawl in the game. She would fit into every single comp in the game, uh, which makes her an incredibly broken brawler. 
Uh, expect it to be really good in the next meta, as I said before. Okay, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Uh, let me know down in the comments section below what videos you want me to make next time. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you next time.